Hey guys, what's up? So today we've got another sales brochure review. Now this one is for the International S-Series bus chassis. Uh, now I have done one on the S-Series before, but that sales brochure was uh, probably 85, 86 and beyond. This one uh, appears to be for probably from the start of the S-Series up until, you know, they started doing the little red emblems. Uh, so on the front cover here we've got this beautiful Ward S-Series and it says go with the number one chassis and drive down your cost of bus ownership um so yeah sad thing is is the cover of this looks to have been left out in the sun or not stored properly so it looks like it's a little bit uh sun damage which is unfortunate uh but i actually have not seen this version of an international sales brochure uh so i definitely have to get it to add it to the collection uh so Going into the first uh, page, we've got this beautiful diagram of what I'm guessing is the bus on the front cover. It's the S-Series chassis with the Ward body. And it's kind of uh, translucent so you can see through it to the actual chassis. Uh, so that's what 3's chassis obviously would have looked like when it was new. Uh, so you can see. And then it's got the uh, actual Ward body on there. So that's really nice. And then it says, why more school bus users and bus body builders specify the S-Series chassis? And we've got some text there. If you'd like to pause to read it, I'll go ahead and show it in front of the camera. And it looks like we've got pictures of a few different engine options. On the next page, S-Series scores top marks in the toughest bus test. So we've got some pictures here. It looks like we've got... Uh, the chassis, there's a Wayne S-Series, and you'll notice, if you can see, it actually does not have warning lights, uh, which is pretty interesting. And then we've got a picture of the gauge cluster. And right here we got braking, so there's some text there about braking, uh, durability. And then right here we've got a little chart with engine options. And then serviceability. Then we've got a picture of fewer parts for faster service, and you've got some engine parts there. And then on the next page, you've got that S-Series uh, Wayne with the no warning lights. Now, you'll notice that the picture is very shaky. It has that as an effect. Um, I don't know what you would call that effect, but that's the effect they went with, and I feel like that's a very 80s uh, thing to do in a sales brochure. Uh, let's see. Okay, right here we've got the S-Series Ward from the front cover. Very good looking bus. I have always, always, always liked the S-Series Ward. Um, I think, personally, that the Ward body and international chassis have always looked very good together. Um, I know, personally, that I've always thought that the Amtran conventional body and the 3800 chassis always looked like they were built for each other. Uh, I feel like the just the curves and the lines and the overall design of the body goes really well with that chassis. So on the next page it says S-Series first in class with the lowest cost of ownership. And then it says when it comes to efficiency we've done our homework. The S-Series gives lessons in economy and performance. How long does it take to pay back the difference for diesel? It looks like we got a line graph there. And it says annual 6.9 liter diesel savings versus gas. That's what the chart is for. And we just have more text. Right there it says the lowest cost of ownership, simple arithmetic. You can read that if you'd like. Lowest cost of ownership, it's a little chart. Then on the back cover, it looks like we have some chassis specs. And then we've got the IH Trucks. International, the number one name in trucks. Then it says lithographed in the United States of America. And this corner kind of goes to the front cover so you can see like that. That's what it, the full picture would look like. Uh, so with that being said, uh, that's the S-Series chassis. I'm going to say this is probably at least 1980. Um, there's no specific date on it, so I'm not really sure. Uh, but I thought you guys would like to see the pictures inside of it. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Uh, let me know what you think, and yeah.